We want to thank the Lamb of God because He's in this place. We want to thank the Son of God because He's in our lives. We want to thank Jesus because you are still in our nation. We want to thank the Lamb of God because the Lamb of God is still in our lives. That's why we are still alive. That's why we are still standing. Because the Lamb of God is still upon our lives. Fighting our battles and giving us success. We want to thank the Lamb of God. Lamb of God, we thank you. Lamb of God, we thank you. The Lamb of God which was slain for us, we thank you. We thank you in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This goes to all the people that have not yet born again. If you are not yet saved, this is the time that you may welcome the Lamb of God in your life. When we say the Lamb of God, some people interpret it differently. Other religions, they interpret it wrongly. But Jesus is not a Lamb. The Bible says the Lamb of God. Because it's Jesus who died and died for the people. He died like the, you see the lamb being slain. And they slain the lamb. And Jesus is the one who died for the people. He was sinless. But he died for our sakes. So you must welcome Jesus in your life. So that you may live. You have to be born again. In your religion. You must add on Jesus. And confess him as your Lord. And go to the born again churches. And hear the word of the Balokole which has the power in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Amen. 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 We want to thank the Lord for the month of August that is ending today. August. Today is 31st August. Uh, we have been speaking about the anointing. Speaking about the power of God. Uh, many people have been speaking about the anointing and speaking about the power in the anointing and what the anointing means. What does it do? Praise the Lord. One word I want to remind you of that let them take everything maybe you have nothing but remain with the anointing have the anointing of God with you as Pastor Mutebi has been saying don't waste that anointing keep it even uh, those uh, women long time ago they used to keep those uh, like akalira you keep it akalira the, 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 the cutting from the the novel <laughs> cutting keep it safely the men of God the ministers of God all the believers let us keep the anointing of God like you keep that cutting from a baby like you keep money and you tie it safely no <laughs> no and you tie it and say nobody will steal it you don't even want other people to see it but keep the anointing how do we keep the anointing uh, being in the life of faith 
Sorry, fearing the fe walking in the fear of the Lord you know that you have sinned then you go before the Lord and repent and then we begin a new life so that we are able to keep the anointing because the anointing of God is the power that enables us to do what we have not been able to do because the anointing of God is, will help us to be successful in our lives because the anointing of God it will lift us up because the anointing of God is the one that beautifies our lives our physical life and our inside life that's why we say that let's continue to keep the anointing of God because it is the power that is going to fight our battles the battle that we failed the battle that has failed everyone. It is the anointing that is going to overcome it. It is the anointing that is going to make us overcome. Say the anointing will make us overcome. All the battle COVID of COVID-19 and the COVID demons behind COVID-19 and all the plans behind COVID-19 what is going to make us overcome is called the anointing of God is called the power of God is called the hand of God it is called the power of the Holy Spirit because this battle uh, the Lord said to Jehoshaphat that this battle does not belong to you because you have failed it you cannot beat those enemies there are so many they have a big uh, army and uh, powerful weapons of war but you Jehoshaphat you don't have any weapon of war even your army is small and the Lord said to Jehoshaphat that today's battle does not belong to you Jehoshaphat it, has, it belongs to the Lord ladies and gentlemen uh, the battles do not belong to us For Commit them to the Holy Spirit. Let's commit the battles to the anointing of God. Your host of the battle no longer belongs to you. The battle belongs to the Lord. The battle is for the anointing of God. Let us welcome the anointing uh, for all the battles and say, O oh Lord, I'm failing the battle. I have tried. I've even made applications. I've even lied. I've devised many means. But I'm failing the battle. And say, Lord, today, the battle, I hand it in the hands of the Holy Spirit. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit will make us overcome all the battles in the name of Jesus. And as we have seen the anointing, it, as it helped Moses, as we have seen the anointing Esther. helping Esther. Esther as we have been speaking about Esther that was not known and then she became a queen that is the work of the anointing when you cannot lift yourself up and your purpose are not <laughs> enough even the papers are not enough but the anointing of God is going to help you and bring promotion in your life in Jesus' name. What is able to help us and lift us up that we may have the honor and they call us great is the anointing of God. The papers may not be enough 
Even your family may not be known. And nobody knows you in the government. The ministry where you work, nobody knows you. Boss, even the boss doesn't know your name. Even the boss doesn't know your name. No kuriranga takuriranga ko. Has never heard about ne you. And he doesn't know your family. Toli na yona mukwano. And you don't have any friends. Na yama futaga katola. But the anointing of God. Gagenda kui musamuli nyali. He's going to lift you up in Jesus. Ama futaga katola. The anointing of God. Gagenda kula angirira. He's going to declare you. Ama futaga katola. The anointing of God. Gagenda kutu usawoto kuka ngako. He's going to make you rich where have never reached. Ama futaga katola. The anointing of God. Gagenda kutu eka muchifocho. He is going to place you in a position that you are not worthy of God. The anointing of God. He is going to make you rich where you are not worthy of. Now we people like my family that were born in Bombo and my husband is from Chiwumu. He said his village is not on Google map. How would we have reached in America? How would we reach in other nations? How would you go to Europe? How would you go to USA? How do you go to other nations? Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call the anointing. How do you build a big church like this? Five. It's one of the four biggest cathedrals in Uganda. Hey. How do you build a big cathedral like this? How do you host a president of Uganda? And you host him in the church. And he opens the church. And and you host him in the church. And he opens the church. How do you host him? And even your papers are not enough. And your village is not on the That is what they call the anointing. Let's not get yeah, on the anointing. Let's get on the anointing. That is what they call the anointing. Stick on the anointing. Let's get hold on the anointing. And pray. Uh, to get the anointing and try all means to see that the anointing increases on our lives and as we have been saying to you that some anointing we shall get it in different ways we can get it as we praise the Lord as we worship the Lord as we pray as we repent as we prepare ourselves that one will enable us for the anointing of God to, con to continue in our lives. And we may speak like David said. That the Lord has anointed my head. And my cup overflows. That my anointing is too much. It is even overflowing. Let's pray to God to anoint us with a new anointing. That our cup may overflow. That the anointing may benefit us and benefit others. The anointing to benefit your family and benefit your society and benefit the church and benefit others. Because all that we need is in the anointing. The riches is in the anointing. I said riches is in the anointing. Prosperity is in anointing. Life in anointing. Life is in, in anointing. The glory is in anointing. Favor is in anointing. Let's continue to pray to God. And plead to Him. And wait for Him. That He may anoint us with a new anointing. That our cups may overflow. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Psalms 92. Zaburi chenda mubiri. We are speaking about the anointing. Muri nyari ya Yesu. Tutandikile kudunyiri lwe kumi. 92. Psalms 92. Muri nyari ya Yesu. Christo muna zare. Tuogera kumafuta. Tuogera kubukuru wa mafuta. We are speaking about the greatness of the anointing. In Jesus' name. Chapter 92. 
Psalms 92 tutandikire ku nyiriri olwe 10 from verse 10 mm -hmm. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox mm -hmm. I have been anointed with fresh oil My eye also has seen my desire on my enemies My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me verse 12 the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree he shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon verse 13 those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God verse 14 they shall still bear fruit in old age they shall be fresh and flourishing verse 15 mm -mm. Oh. Praise the Lord. David said, The Lord, you have anointed me with a new oil. Over fresh oil, or finest oil. Version Yezimuzogera, West West Gamba, Version Yezimuzigamba, fresh oil. Finest oil. I'm a foot, I'm a, I'm a long of a baby to Gambia. The Bible says, Into of Fuseka, I'm a footer that you have anointed me. I'm a footer anointed me with oh, oil. That de, e, jem, beri, you have put a horn of oil no, fukaka, and anointed me no, nyimusa, and exalted me no, teka, wala, and put me high no, nyambu, so, kusinga, omutu, yena. you have exalted me more than anyone e, che, else che, tuba, de, tuba, that is what we have been Ntiyama, telling you that the anointing of God oh, no, yari, David was saying Nagama, mufuse, he was futa. saying Lord you have anointed me Ama, futa, amaja. A fresh anointing. Ama futa ama a good anointing. Kaka ama futa. After our anointing me with the oil, no you have exalted me. Baka 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 baka. More than all the kings. No teka ke you have put honor on me. No teka you have exalted me. Na ba Behold, I'm exalted because of the anointing. Ladies and gentlemen, as we have been saying, e that what is going to lift us up, e what is going to to put us up is called the anointing of God. David was exalted. David was high. David was prominent. He was promoted. He was exalted everywhere. What caused him to be exalted is the anointing with the Lord anointed him with. that he placed in the horn. The anointing which was put in the horn anointed him. David. It caused him to be exalted. It caused David to be high. The anointing of God. It is the one that is going to exalt us. It is going to lift you up. The Bible tells us that we shall always be high, not down. What is going to lift us from down and raise us up is called the anointing of God. Clap for the anointing of God. Say, anointing of God lift me up. I'm tired of being down. I'm tired of being down. I'm tired of being in the darkness. I'm tired of being in a low pit. They are going to lift us up. Is going to lift us from down. What is going to lift us up? What is going to lift us up? What is going to lift us from down? What is going to lift us up? 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 The anointing of God that was on David. After Samuel anointed him, he lifted him from down and exalted him and raised him higher because he has seen because of the fresh anointing. Yeah. Because of the fresh anointing, you, you have exalted me and lifted me higher more than my enemies. And David is saying, because of the fresh oil, 
That because of the anointing I'm going to see my enemies Falling down I'm going to see my enemies While down now, Ladies and gentlemen You are going to see The downfall of Satan Because of the anointing You are going to see The downfall of your enemy Because of the anointing I have seen the downfall of my enemy because of the fresh oil because of the fresh oil not by power not by mighty weapons not because of the great stature but because of the anointing I'm going to see the downfall of my enemy. You are going to see the downfall of Satan because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. We are going to see the downfall of Satan against the churches of Barokole. <laughs> In this month, we are going to see the downfall of Satan against the churches in Uganda. This month, in Jesus' name, you are going to see the downfall of your enemy. Our enemy is the devil. The devil is our enemy. Because he's the one who brought COVID-19. Poverty is our enemy. But in the power of the Holy Spirit yes. in the name of Jesus we are going to see the fall of that devil like the Satan fall of Revelation down. chapter 12 and the Lord said behold I've seen the, the devil falling down a third of the angels those demons that fell down with that Satan those demons that are troubling us the demons of the dead the demons that bring wrong dreams the bad if Evil spirits <laughs> evil spirits a third of the angel which fall by with Satan we are going to see their fall again in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. And David says that my eyes have seen the fall of my enemies. Those that were high, they are now down. And mid David who is anointed. I have been exalted. Ladies and gentlemen, we need the anointing of God. We are going to see our enemies down when you are exalted in the name of Jesus. And what will lift you up is called the anointing of God. Oh, praise to the Lord. You are going to see the demons that wanted to kill you. You were testifying to me, Christian. That way the Lord rescued you from death. And you told me you to always follow us. The Bible has said to us that we are going to see our enemies down. Yet we shall be high. Christina said she doesn't know how she went through death. Time came. Her enemy called death had exalted himself. And everybody knew Christine was going to die. She said that the person who was treating her uh, gave her passion for juice and prepared her well. Uh, and when he went behind the house, he started crying. He used to cry. They could call him. Whoever used to call said, We are waiting for the time. Only 
But then this person is going. He came back and encouraged himself and took care. But in this time, Christine is looking for the enemy that is called death. Well, while he was and down, the Lord has given him because life because of the anointing. We have said you are going to see your enemy that is called death. You are going to see your enemy that is called sickness. You are going to see your enemy that is called defeat. You are going to see your enemy that is called defeat. 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 That is Saji ya kutade musente noso mauri zoom Dawudi ya gamba David said Ngeenda kuhulira I will hear Okule meriru wa kwa badabe bange The defeat of my enemies Ngeenda kuhulira I'm going to hear Okule meriru wa The wu the defeat. Eri haba bi wicked Ngeenda kuhulira I'm going to hear Okule meriru wa The fall Defeat Ngeenda kuhulira I'm going to hear. Oku ngenda kuulira. I'm going to hear. Oku lemererwa kwa barabe bange. The defeat of the wicked. Mukama ofe yeba zibe. Praise the Lord. Amafuta ga katonda. The anointing of God. Ngenda tuuliza. He's going to make us hear. Eri buri mubiye na. To every evil one. There is the there is what we enjoy uro wakati wa enemy and wicked. Over a sinner and wicked. Kale be tulibi nyonyolo lala. Katugende mu mu enemy. You shall hear. Ori ulira. Sorry. Ori ulira. You shall hear. O kugwa kwa balabebo. The fall of your enemies. O genda kuulira. You are going to hear. O kule mereru kwa balabebo. The fall of your enemies. E chigendo kuulisa. What is going to make you hear? O kule mereru kwa balabebo. The fall of your enemies. Bachi itamafuta. It's called the anointing. Nambi bachi itamafuta. I said it's the anointing. Puri abada kwe simbi. Whoever was standing against you. Puri abada imiri dema soko. Whoever was standing before you. Puri abada kule mesako itewo. Was making you to fail. O genda kuulira. You are going to hear. Yenga yale medwa mo. When they have failed in the name of Jesus, that's what David said. And said you anointed. The anointing you have anointed me with. It has made me to hear that my enemies are being beaten. That they have. Failed. Having no strength. They cannot manage me. Ladies and gentlemen. What will weaken your enemies? What will weaken your enemies? What is going to weaken the devil? It is called the anointing of God. It is called the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It is called the anointing of Jesus. Because he is the anointed one. Jesus will enable you He is going to weaken All the enemies That had risen before you In the name of our Lord Jesus I will hear The defeat of my enemies I will hear The defeat Of those that have been bewitched us We are going to hear The failure of those that have been uh, blowing pipes we are going to hear the defeats of them that wanted to paralyze the church of Christ we are going to hear those that have been fighting against the church of Christ we are going to hear we are going to hear the one who wanted to take your house you are going to hear the defeats of your enemies what is going to make you here is called the anointing of God and David said your anointing has enabled me to hear the failure of my defeats them that wanted to kill me those that were in weight of me that I have 
brought out Goliath. They wanted to spear him. Goliath had risen up. He wanted to kill me. And to destroy the army of the Lord. Your anointing has made me to kill you. Goliath's head has been cut off. That is the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That is the importance of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Verse 12 of Egambie. Verse 12 of Egambie. Verse 12 of Egambie. The Bible says. Verse 11. 11. 11. My eye also has seen my desire on my enemies. Verse 12 of. Okay. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. Uh -huh. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that because of the anointing which the Lord anointed on David it made him like a cedar to be like the cedar. Now we'll get the cedar. <laughs> but for the anointing you have anointed me. Uh, you have made me like a tree called cedar. I'm like a tree. Palm, sorry, palm tree. Like a palm tree. Bible the Bible says that because of the anointing of God that was on David. Like a Sorry. He was like a palm tree. He was like a palm tree. He was like a palm tree. What was he meaning? That Lord you anointed. Has made me like a palm tree. This tree flourishes. Hey, hey. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Gubera uh, wo it leaves it emiaka ne emiaka. for many years. It doesn't die quickly. It doesn't die easily. It uh, it uh, it it puts its roots. Their roots are strong. You cannot, just, you cannot just uproot it. Every time it is always in good time. You will go back and read about the way palm tree. The way it is. Even if the sun is too much, um, that tree doesn't die. Um, Even if it shines, um, out, that tree remains the way it is. Is. Even if it rains too much, it remains flourishing. It is beautiful. It spreads everywhere. The anointing of God is going to enable you. That may spread everywhere. That may spread in the east and spread in the west. Or that you may spread in the north and spread in the south. What does it mean? The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. The Lord is going to give you an infant of you and behind you. And he spread, palm tree. spread like a palm tree. And he was everywhere. And everyone was seeing him. Even if you are in the plane, you are able to see a palm tree. Even when you climb up the house, you are able to see the palm tree. Because it spreads everywhere. It has its fruits. It has its leaves spread. Oh, my God. You shall flourish like a palm tree because of the anointing. You shall flourish like, like a palm tree because of the anointing of God. Because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of our Lord Jesus. The, Lord. the Bible has said that you shall spread. Uh, that word means. 
kula nyo. You are going to grow big. Tojia kufama angu. You shall not die quickly. Ogenda kubela nobula mubunji. You are going to have a lot of life. Ogenda kwe yongera yo. You are going to increase. Ogenda kula kula na. You are going to prosper. Because of the anointing Olu of the Holy Ghost. Olu mafuta gomo yomu. Ogenda kugaziwa. You are going to spread. Ogenda kugaziwa. You are going to spread. Because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Olu mafuta gomo yomu. Kama yatuwe chigambo. The Lord gave us the one. Natuwa kwa jamu ntebe. As we had just come to Ntebe. Kama yatuwa mnabi. The Lord gave us a prophecy. Natuwa kwa jamu ntebe. When we are first coming to Ntebe. Natuwa kwa jamu ntebe. Natuwa kwa jamu ntebe. Natuwa kwa jamu ntebe. We were in a timber church. We were in a timber church. And it was very small. We were a few people. There were around 15 people. And the Lord said to us, You are going to spray. In fact, the Lord said to us, Isaiah 54 said you are going to spread it in large. You are going to broaden in the front and broaden behind and uh, broaden in the east and broaden in the west. But the people he was telling this are going to flourish. We were in a very specific place. They just gave us the place. Any time they could chase us away and they chased us away. Sente. And we didn't have money to buy a plot. Or a 50 by 50. Or a 50 by 50. But the anointing of God, God enabled us gaziwa, to spread and, and the ministry was enlarged. We enlarged in land. We spread in faith. We spread among people. Ah, the anointing is going to make you. The anointing is going to widen you. Let your plot be widened. Let your land become bigger. Let your business become bigger. Let your family 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 become bigger. Let your they don't die Gukula, it grows Gukula, after growing it begins to bring out the wawisimba. ones that are coming out no 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 but it is making it so e that is what is called the anointing e of God that, that is what is called the anointing of God you shall grow you shall live you shall be established like a palm tree so no Ojakula, you shall grow. Ojakubera, you shall stay. Tojagenda, you will not go away. Simala gagenda, I don't just go away. Survivor, I'm a survivor. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I'm a futa gomo yomu. Hallelujah. Dawudi na gamba mukama. And David said to the Lord, On fudengo muti kwebaita palm. You have made me like a palm tree. Nkuze. I've grown. Ngaziye. Um, I've spread. My kingdom is broadened. My house is as enlarged. My ministry has stretched. Family My family is Because of the anointing of the Because of the fresh anointing. Every dose of the anointing you get in your Every dose of the anointing you get in your life. That is the level you are going to broaden in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. As we are winding up, the Bible says, verse 14, as we wind up, Hallelujah. they shall still bear fruit in old age. Yes, Lord. They shall be fresh and flourishing. Mm -hmm. 
The Bible has said that because of the anointing, you shall be like a palm tree. And though you are old, though you are in old age, or while holding a walking stick, while holding a walking stick, you shall still bear fruit. Where the anointing of God is, there is bearing fruit. Where the anointing is, there is bearing fruit. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. The fruits of men. Fruits. You shall be fruitful because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That though you grow old, because of the anointing, you shall still bear fruit. You shall look well. You shall look like a young baby. You shall be old in age. The anointing is going to beautify you. You shall bear fruit. You shall preach the gospel. You shall still declare Jesus. You shall remain in church. The oil of God is going to make you a pastor. That bears fruits old in every season. Yes. The anointing of God. It enables us to bear fruit. The Bible says, Blessed are they that walk. Blessed. Those that do not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Yes, Bible says that blessed are they who do not walk with the wicked. Who do not walk with the mockers. Those that mock the gospel. Those that mock the Bible. The Bible has said that he shall be like a tree that was planted by the riverside, which bears fruit in its season. Ladies and gentlemen, if you anoint it, you shall be like a tree. You shall be like trees which they plant by the riverside. The tree which are planted by the riverside. The Bible has said that in every season, they bear fruits. If it is a an orange tree. If it is an orange tree. If it is a mango tree. Because this tree has the anointing. It is going to bear fruit. You are going to bear fruit because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You shall be like a tree which they plant besides the river which gets water in all it gets water oil every day. The anointing of God. I pray the anointing of God to enable you woman that has been barren. I pray the anointing of God to enable you man that was barren. That you may produce twins in the name of Jesus. The anointing of God to enable you who has barren. That you may get twins in the name you of Jesus. You shall be fruitful. Because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Even if you are old. You shall remain powerful. You shall remain with the honor of the Lord. Because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. They shall be like trees. They be like trees. That are planted by the riverside, which bear fruits in all seasons, in their season, whether it is shining, whether problems are there, whether money is scarce, whether money is scarce, whether churches are closed, 
They remain with their fruits. They remain showing something. They remain having something. Whether we no longer come to church. They remain with their anointing. They remain with the word of God. They remain with the Holy Spirit. Oh, because of the anointing. May God richly bless you. Let's remain in the anointing of God. Desire for the anointing of God. Because there are benefits. There are benefits. In the anointing of God. The anointing of God. Do a lot of things. It makes us to live as we have said. It adds more life to us. It adds more years to us. It adds years. It adds us ministry to us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shalom.